ProgSim is used to do incremental simulation of a stamped metal part utilizing a local press strip layout. It is necessary to start with a local press created strip layout and also the form tooling, tr trim and form tooling must also be included or at least uh, surfaces that uh, the surfaces that contact strip needs to be included in the strip layout. This would be selected uh, to during the uh, setup of the forming simulation. I will start by selecting ProgSim. And some of the uh, trim, uh, trim and form elements will automatically be created, especially since these uh, forming and trimming tools are already in here. You can see here, here are the elements that are needed to do the simulation. Some of them, like I said before, the trim tool is already populated. I can deselect certain tools if, that, if I do not want to include them, like I just did right here. And I can check the element, which are surfaces. And that's what's going to be used to do the trimming. I also have to designate other items such as the pilot holes. And I just select the edge of the uh, strip. And if I hold down the control key, I can also manually pop automatically populate all the pilots going down the strip. our pilots. Next I'm going to define the boundary between the stations of the strip. Because each station of the strip is simulated independent, uh, not independently, but one at a time separately. Next I'm going to define the lifters puts me into a sketch and I just sketch in the lifters. They do not need to follow exactly what would be in the tool, but something to support the material. And the counter lifters or the stripper is automatically populated. And that matches the what I had sketched in for the lower lifter. I will define the lift right here. Two inches. And the counter lifter or stripper will be two and a quarter. Next, I'm going to start defining the forming tools. I'll start with the lower form. And you can see that the lower form tools are automatically populated here and the faces. And I can deselect certain faces that are not contacting strip. This will help uh, speed the computation of the analysis. Again, I can check the elements, which are the surfaces. And that looks good. And I'll do the upper forms. I'm going to deselect this one right here because that's actually going to be a pad from the, on the upper half, not a solid punch. And that looks fine. And now I'll add some upper pads. And I'll start with this forming station right here. Since there's not a tool to select, I will just select faces. For that pad. And I am going to set the initial force.
and the travel for that pad and what is going to be the uh, opposing tooling. And there's my upper pad and I'll add another one for this form station. Again, I'll just select faces since there is an actual tool in there. And the initial force will be 8,000 pounds for this. And I'll travel inch and a half and the lower form will be the opposing tool. And one more upper pad, which will be right here. And the only face that's going to be contacting is this bottom face. Travel and the opposing tool. Now I have all my tooling elements defined. I can set my stroke, the material type, and the type of friction. And you can see we have low, medium, and high. I will uh, select medium. And I can simulate the uh, kinematics of the tooling to make sure my pads are traveling far enough and so forth. That all looks good. So now I can go to computation and start the computation. And it's doing the setup for the analysis right now. There it's completed and it'll start the actual analysis. And what it's going to do is uh, it'll just feed in stock as if it would be do, doing uh, what it would be doing in the press and using the tooling to uh, either trim the trim elements and forming like we're seeing right there. And this is using Autoform technology to do the analysis.
and our analysis is now complete and we can look at different results you can see the first result is formability which is what most people would look at you can see that we do have some splitting that's occurring in this form right here and also when we kick it down the rest of the way or form it down the rest of the way there's splits here also we do have pictures of the actual tooling as you can see right here or not tooling but the strip that was ran through tooling and this was done without doing any forming uh, simulation you can see the problems here here and here close up of that problems which does match the simulation here we also have uh, other forming results such as thickness thinning plastic strain major strain minor strain max failure potential wrinkles and spring back so if I look at the spring back I can click in these areas right here and see how much it's going to spring back and the same thing on the other side of the part And we can also show the forming of the part on a certain station or through all of the stations. I'll start with station nine and select play. And we can turn the tooling on and off and show that along with this if we would like. And here we can see where that failure is occurring and we can also pause it and back up and go back forward again an inch through that process so logo press prog sim is as you can see would be a very useful tool to find form, forming problems before we even design the die or, or uh, make any of the uh, tooling of the die.